Hello and welcome to Famous Gays and Lesbians, Alleged and Otherwise. I'm your host, Thomas Connolly, and I happen to be a gay actor living in the gayest city of them all, West Hollywood. Now, in this episode, we're referring to a person who is allegedly gay. And I know some of you think it's not nice to out somebody. It's none of your business. And I hear what you say, but I don't totally agree when it's a United States Senate Senator who is voting against gay rights legislation. That's right, you probably guessed it by now. I'm referring to the one and only Miss Scarlett O'Hara herself from South Carolina, Mr. Lindsey Graham. Now, it seems like everyone knows Lindsey is gay, but Lindsey, John Stewart, yes, the wonderful John Stewart has tweeted that Lindsey Graham is the Blanche Dubois of the Senate. Oh, he relies upon the kindness of strangers, especially when those strangers are gay porn stars and prostitutes. And another one of our favorites, Chelsea Handler, well, she tweeted for him to publicly come out on National Coming Out Day. Yes, she did. We love Chelsea. She said, why don't you just do it? Looking at you, Mr. Lindsey Graham. Oh, and even the iconic Broadway diva, Patty Lupone herself. And Patty Lupone tweeted for him to come out already and see how much easier your life would be. Oh, but my favorite one came from the normally very dignified, well-mannered, quite serious Jen Saki. She formally addressed Lindsey Graham as Lady G. Now, oh, come on, you know that things have gotten out of control when the White House is referring to you as a gay queen. Lordy, 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 what has Mr. Lindsey Graham done to deserve this outrageous treatment? Well, let's look at a little bit of the background here. Lindsey Graham has always referred to himself as a con confirmed bachelor. Oh, Lindsey Graham has actually said that he has never found the time to find the right gal. Oh, I think I just heard a collective sigh of relief from every woman in America. Oh, but the real crushing blow for Lindsey Graham came when gay porn star Sean Harding, oh, here he is, and believe me, it was not easy to find a picture of Mr. Harding with his clothes on. But the real blow came when Sean Harding tweeted that every gay sex worker he knew had been hired by none other than Lindsey Graham. Basically, Sean Harding was a gay version of the lovely Miss Stormy Daniels. I miss her. This is what set off the firestorm. Yes. And this is when Lindsey Graham, ladies and gentlemen, became known as the infamous Lady G. Now, it's one thing to be gay and a closeted case, but it's quite another to be a gay man and a hypocrite. You wouldn't think that Lady G as a closeted gay man would bash his own people, right? Wrong. Lindsey Graham uses his power to harm gay people. His voting record on gay rights is unbelievably atrocious. And here are just a few examples. Lindsey Graham voted yes to a constitutional ban on same-sex marriage. Lindsey Graham voted yes to ban adoption for same-sex couples. Lindsey Graham voted yes to deport LGBT immigrants in the Uniting American Families Act. Lindsey Graham even famously participated in the Chick-fil-A Heterosexual Appreciation Day to show solidarity in his disdain for gay people. Oh, but to me, <clears throat> the real clincher is the human rights campaign rated Lindsey Graham a zero, uh-huh, a zero out of a possible hundred points for his anti-gay legislative voting record. Now, some people speculate that Donald Trump has some kind of blackmail proof over Lady G's homosexuality. And he's been using this all along. After all, this is the same Lindsey Graham that said Donald Trump was a race-baiting, xenophobic bigot who was not fit to lead. And nowadays, we all know that Lady G licks Donald Trump's boots and kisses his ass 
every chance he gets. What possible incriminating evidence could Donald Trump have on Lindsey Graham? Oh, oh, I know, I know. I bet that Donald has seen his extensive Barbara Streisand collection. Oh, I'm able to say that because I have my very own Barbara Streisand collection. Anyway, Lindsey Graham has got to go. He has proven to be a malignant cancer on the advancement of rights for the LGBT community. Now, I think ex-congressman out and proud Barney Frank said it best when he said, one's right to sexual privacy does not include the right to hypocrisy. Well, that's about it for this episode. If you like what you see, please press like and subscribe. It would really help our show. Until next time, this is Thomas Connolly, and we have some real doozy episodes in store. Bye-bye.